What's up dudes and dudes of the internet? My name's Seth and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Load Runner, not to be confused with the Road Runner. You'll have to excuse me, I'm very under the weather right now as I'm recording this, but I have to get this video out to all of you. So we do have an adventure mode, but I just wanted to show you that there is a uh, puzzle classic because this is of course a retro game that has kind of been remade then there's going to be world levels create a level create a character and create items how cool is that so we could potentially end up creating our own little pixel hero character and you can end up actually customizing the items with which you end up grabbing out on your adventure as well okay so this is the first level here let's just get right to it blah, 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 blah. i am load runner man no, really, I don't know what's going on. I really like the graphical style, though. There's something about, like, the pixel art graphics in 3D that I just generally find really appealing. Maybe it's because I come from, like, old retro games and stuff, right? I, I'm not exactly sure if this was an influence for uh, the old classic Mario and Donkey Kong, or if it was the other way around. Most likely the other way around, where this game uh, ended up taking from them afterwards, right? What the? How do I? Oh... Aha! Okay, well, there we go. So, I guess that's the whole point, is we can climb up the ladders and stuff, and then, no, nope, I want to do that. There we go. Ha ha! And the whole point is to try and gather all of the coinages. Okay. Ooh. Load running, running around. I actually really like the music in this game. It's very chillax. Uh, you'll have to excuse as well, I know the bottom of my screen is a little bit cut off for some weird reason, that's just how it is, there's not really anything we can do about that. Uh, I guess the whole point too is that you could play this game in a, like, in, in a bit more of a classic sense. Can I, can I destroy that? How do I, how do I actually do this? Oh, there we go, for some reason I just hit a different button to end up doing the same functionality for some weird reason. Why were those bricks disappearing underneath my feet? I don't really understand. There's that good music again. Yikes, dude, awesome. Very cool, though. I, I do actually really like the uh, art direction of this game for sure. Uh, again, links are going to be in the description for everything about this game, though, folks. And yeah, the big reason that the screen is kind of cut off is I'm playing it in uh, windowed full screen, which I kind of have to do. E oh, I thought that I would be able to run across that just no problem. But oh, that means this is going to be a little bit tricky because we're going to have to do crazy things, right? Yep. Yep. We're stuck. That's all there is to it. We're, we are dead meat. Blurk! So we have to do it skillfully to get up to that spot. Oh, I like how when we respawn, it just has the last two coins that we need, right? Okay. Well, that means we can do that, and then that, and then that. I don't know why I, I see. There's different... Like, two buttons have the same functionality for some weird reason. So we just got to do this then, right? Because I'm guessing that they're trying to slowly teach us uh, how the game mechanics work and try to get us more used to, oh, here's how you end up destroying these blocks. It's a puzzle game. Because I guess it really is. Like, the, this really is like a puzzle game. I got one star just because I died once. I don't really care to repeat the level. Like, no thank you. Are there ever any enemies, though, or anything? Like, no wonder you can customize the... Uh, blocks that you end up grabbing because that's pretty much all you can end up uh, doing right okay that was kind of weird so we oh i see it's like an invisible brick that's what's going on oh and then our character is in a very uh strange placement as far as his pixels are concerned where uh we weren't able to actually end up grabbing that one that was at the end of the pole until we ended up just jumping off of the top cliff now we've got three stars Okay, kind of like a phone game. In a lot of ways, the music actually reminds me of Mega Man Legends. I don't know why. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little, uh, little more complicated here. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I feel a cough coming on. Oh, this blasted sickness. Give me a minute. Oh gracious! And by give me a minute, I mean give me like one real life second because I'll just edit that out. Yikes, dude! I do not like being sick. It is. Gross. Okay, so we have to like specifically do this then. Uh, like I know how they want us to just be tricked, but I will not be tricked by the stupid bricks. Because otherwise, if we didn't even get rid of that last one, we wouldn't have been able to get out of there, right? 
And the same as right there, we had to specifically climb across the poles in order to get out of there. Oh, I see. So there's multipliers and a whole bunch of other stuff going on at the bottom of the screen. That's what's happening. No deaths also gives you more uh, bonus as well as the time bonus. And I think that's what's going on because you might not be able to hear it, but the music uh, is kind of getting faster and faster as we're playing longer into the level. Ooh, enemy time. Or are those my friends? Music's getting faster and faster as we go into the level, which uh, implies to me that our time limit is running out. Hello, can I defeat, oh my. Well, he can climb across the ladders and stuff. So it's, uh, this is kind of scary. Why, why is this guy, um, uh, uh, okay. Well, got rid of him. Wait, how did we kill him? Why was he floating in the air? Also, he ends up respawning. Do we get points for that? We don't get any points for actually defeating that guy? Dude, I thought I did pretty well. That was a three star, not two star. Like seriously, were we supposed to do that level even faster? Like yikes. Okay, he's gonna be messing around on the right, so we're just gonna ignore him and go for this. Uh, what would we end up doing here? I, I guess it would just be that. Oh, no, I see. Because, uh, okay. Well, I guess I understand then. That means we've got to do something like, Ooh! I didn't know he was gonna come right up the ladder and bite my face off. Okay, well, this is kinda confusing. Wait, why is it confusing when all we gotta do is that? <laughs> really, why did I think that that was confusing, dude? Okay, uh, so this we're going to have to, oh boy. Well, I'm dead. That, this is the side that was the confusing one. No, please, don't destroy me. No, stop it. No, 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 no. Okay. Can we, can we, hello? Restart. We actually have to restart the level because the coin spawns in there, and thus we can't actually get it. Okay, come here, you stupid idiot. Yeah, there you go, sucker. Okay, now we can take our sweet time trying to figure out what exactly is it that I was supposed to have done. Was I supposed to have done something like that then? No, nope, because now, good. I didn't even want to actually make our character fall right there. That just ended up happening for some weird reason. Okay, now this stupid enemy is gonna be an idiot. Whatever, fine. Come on, come on you. There we go, ha ha, does full damage hurt them? Oh, it gives us 300 points because it stuns them though. Oh boy, well, he's gonna get angers with me. Oh boy, uh, this can't be good. Well, let's see, so we just do, yeah, that's all I was supposed to have actually done the entire time. But now we gotta get this guy out of here. Dude, the, <laughs> oh, this enemy's such an idiot. Okay, there we go. Well, that'll end up working, right? Yikes, that was, uh, that was kinda clutch. Only kind of, though. I'm really bad at these types of games. I just enjoy them. Uh, again, I really like the pixel graphics. Like, pixel art graphics that are 3D and have dynamic lighting. That's the biggest thing that I think is the appeal to me. Okay, how's this going to work? Do we just do this? How, how far do we end up actually taking it though is the thing. I guess, there we go, because let's just go for one. Ew, yeah, because otherwise we would have to repeat the entire level like over and over again, right? Uh, by repeat the level, I mean repeat the same action that we're doing right now where we gotta go all the way. Uh, how are we gonna deal with that guy? I guess that, that we'll have to just let him through, right? Yeah, there you go, stupid. Okay, there we go. And then, huh? how does that help? Okay, you can walk over them. I didn't know that that was actually a possibility. See you later, sucker! <laughs> now that was clutch. As far as this game is concerned, that was pretty clutch. Okay, let's do one more level. That's uh, That should be all the time that we have for today. Unless we end up getting to a boss fight, then I would actually like to see that. Oh no, they can climb across the poles too. Oh boy. Okay, that's cool. Well, this can't be good. Yeah! I knew it couldn't be good, stupid enemy. Like seriously. Okay, let's see, what can we do here? We can do, okay. I can't seem to, there we go. Walk across his head like the idiot that he is. Take that dummy. 
and then he just climbs right back out. Like, okay, that's kind of weird. Ah, ah, got it. Okay, good. But now we have to still get past this idiot, so I'm gonna have to do the same thing again. Bloink! Thanks for 250 points instead of 300 like we got on that other level? Why? Like, really? Oh, next level is level 10, so we'll do that. One star. No kills? You get more points for killing them or not killing them? Oh, boy. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? Let's just go for this. This is, this is, this is going to end very badly. Oh, I see. Aha, I can see. Oh, boy. Well, now I understand how complex this game can end up actually getting. I don't really like that. <laughs> like, like, really, this is, oh, man, I can't even believe that I've actually gotten this far on this level, honestly speaking, because this is, this is evil. Like, this is real evil right here. Okay, well, at least we ended up defeating the level, so crazy, dude, crazy. Uh, no! I wasn't holding in his direction. I was actually just holding straight up, but that's cool. Whatever. There. That's all I wanted to do last time anyways. Okay, let's see if we get a nice little fancy cutscene right on this last level here, because that was level 10. Done warming up. Uh-oh. What are they going to throw at us now? Run, Mega Man! Ugh! Eyeballs floating on banana peels. Oh, great. They just walk around the entire map, right? What do they do? Just run around in circles? Yup! Yup! No thanks! Thanks for watching, folks. Links will be in the description for everything about this game. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content, as well as to end up getting loyalty points to my merch store, which links are in the description for that, that you can end up redeeming on a bunch of rewards and stuff. Sign orange, stay epic, and thank you so much for being patient with me while I'm sick like this.